Cplay comprises two embedded multi-channel audio file players that can be routed to console channels as though they were regular system inputs. Both players support stereo and mono playback of WAV or MP3 files, with the first player handling 5.1 file formats as well. All files are stored in a common library with full external access via the network server. User control is via the touch screen and master encoder with additional control from the channel strips. There are three different operating modes for each player. The basic vCart mode plays out selected audio cuts directly from the library, simply by scrolling to the cut and initiating play from the encoder switch. Free play is a jukebox style interface with multiple pages of trigger keys assigned to cuts. Playlist mode stores a sequence of cuts for manual or automatic playout. Via the cut edit menu, cut start and edit points can be trimmed, fades added, and overall level adjusted. With a player routed to a console channel, the CPlay status overview replaces the pan display and shows the cut name with incrementing, decrementing start and end time counters and a timeline progress bar. The status display outline flashes one second before the end of the clip. A fader start option and the channel free keys offer direct player control from the channel strips. And external switches can be configured to activate the free play trigger keys via the GPIO interface. Another option that can be added to C100 is workstation control. Via the edit layer menu, the channel strip faders and controls can be configured as a MIDI-based workstation controller, with channel level, solo and mute, panning, send level, record arming and automation status control of tracks in the workstation. The channel meter displays mono and stereo track levels received from the workstation. Channel banking provides access to all the tracks in the session regardless of the number of faders used as controller channels. The touchscreen door pop-up supplies additional commands plus a timeline display, and all the functions can be assigned to the center section free controls. The workstation interface is via a dedicated network connection, with MIDI over Ethernet replacing physical MIDI interfacing, and in turn eliminating any possible bandwidth concerns associated with conventional MIDI control. Remote control options for C100 include full support for production newscast automation systems from Ross, Sony and Mossart, offering remote control of fader levels, channel on, panning, PFL monitoring and mix minus bus routing. Via the GPIO interface, camera tallies can be used to open and close console faders with user control of level and ramp in, ramp out times. Dialog auto mix simplifies mixing programs with multiple live microphones by automatically focusing channel gain on the dominant contribution in a multi-presenter setup, eliminating crosstalk and missed up cuts, and by maintaining a constant overall level with multiple participant unscripted panel discussions. As the system works without relying on the fixed thresholds found in simple gating solutions, it provides extremely effective and transparent gain control, giving the operator the space to concentrate on the overall program balance and loudness. As well as the option of a fully mirrored redundant processing engine, the control surface offers a number of resilient solutions in the event of a hardware failure affecting a front panel control. The surface menu in the MISC menu calls up a graphical overview of the console surface. Touching a bay and selecting the yes option in the resulting pop-up disables the bay and transfers the channels to an adjacent bay. The master encoder left-right keys act as bay shift keys so that access is still possible to the channels that existed in the disabled bay. As soon as a problem has been cleared, the bay can be re-enabled. Provided the console has more than one master tile, a similar procedure can be used in the event of a master tile encoder or switch failure. Touch the on-screen master tile and then yes to disable. The nearest adjacent master tile will take over when the channel attention keys are selected on channel strips below the disabled panel. 
So as you can see, C100 HDS is fairly straightforward in terms of operation. The channels are especially simple in their design. And the central touchscreen offers a good overview of status of the audio and gives intuitive access to the more detailed setup functions. Part of the design brief was to make operation as obvious as possible, and the C100 has definitely achieved that goal. For more details about C100 HDS, check out the SSL website and call one of our experienced sales engineers or one of our many distributors worldwide.